This weekend, we're building the ultimate outdoor mobile kitchen. I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Brojax. <laughs> For the ultimate outdoor kitchen, we bought a trailer that we're going to strip down so we have a clean slate on which we'll frame out our storage compartments for propane and coolers. The theme of this kitchen is surf and turf. So we're going to build a deep fryer, which will be our lobster boiler, and a cooktop for grilling steak. The surface of the kitchen will be folding wood panels, which will act as prep surfaces. And finally, the centerpiece of this kitchen will be the lobster aquarium, where the lobster will ride with us to the party. So we just got started on this project by cutting off the old metal that surrounds the trailer. It wasn't on there by much, no. Nope. And next we're going to start by uh, framing out the trailer in some wood. So now we're putting plywood on the sides. It's a way beefier wall than I thought of when I first thought of this. The trailer that's too heavy to roll. So we're trying to figure out the configuration, how all these kitchen things best fit in and make our space workable. Here you are, you're cooking. Oh, I need my steak. Bring it over to my prep area. Do whatever I'm gonna do to the steak. Cook it. We're trying to think about how this is gonna be used and how to best use the space. This seems a bit awkward. Yeah. Yeah, we've been going around in circles on, on how to best fit all these things into the trailer. Could we jam the sink in right beside this thing? Same. Playing with my emotions. <laughs> it's workflow that you're kind of looking for in a kitchen. And if you have to stop every second to go around and get something out of a, a container that's on the other side of the trailer, it's not going to work. So we had a bunch of stainless steel left over from another project, and we decided it would be a great finish for the sides of our kitchen. So I just trimmed down the steel and glued it to the plywood. Yeah, I think that'll look nice. Now it looks like a hot dog cart. <laughs> <laughs> So it's coming along. We're just putting the, uh, the pine on the top of the cart uh, to finish it off. This is going to be our little prep surface. It's going to flip up uh, to allow us to access our water and our two propane tanks. So we're installing our sink, uh, just making a cutout for it. It's just going to be a place to wash your hands and uh, clean up a little bit before dinner. I think when this is done, it's gonna look pretty sharp, but if you ever peel back the layers on it, uh, you would not be impressed. It's a DIY disaster under there, but enough screws, enough glue, enough bolts, and it'll hold together. You don't do enough with duct tape. Looks like you really know what you're doing when you put everything on with tape. <laughs> um, our projects show better at dust, too, so <laughs> we're both hoping, you know, the light kind of dims a little bit. Look at that. All right, man, let's get her on the road. You know, I'm proud of this project. I don't think there's any real glaring issues with it. We put the mobile kitchen right down on his dock. The sunset is beautiful from down there. He's on the opposite side of the lake down the end. One, two, three. I smell burning hair. <laughs> that was the hair that used to be on my hands. <laughs> Check this out, man. Amazing but no soap. <laughs> <laughs>this is exactly what I was thinking when we started making the it bike wagon. It hasn't lit on fire yet. <laughs> it hasn't lit on fire. It, it was a success. You know, the burners worked. Uh, the, we've got the steaks cooked. Go serve that up to the crowd. Absolutely. Okay. Good work, Junior Jim. Yeah, baby. I think people were really impressed with it. 